five. I'm adjusting my camera for one sec. Give me one second here to settle in. I think we're officially live. Um, I think we're up and running. And of course the camera's crooked. <laughs> so give me one sec. Hold on, I'll check with the chat in just a moment. Jeremy's pulling up my chat for me. So I'll be able to see you guys in just one second. Let's see here. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, I think we're good. Can everybody see me okay? I hope so, let's hope. And of course we're still crooked. <laughs> okay, all right, uh, so I see Antoinette is here. Dina Marie is here. Hi baby, hi bingo partner. Robin Harriman, Kathy Wiseman. Hi, mwah, mwah, mwah. thank you all for coming. Kimberly Pines, thank you for making it. So appreciate you. The camera's a little askewed, but I'm gonna have to deal with it. Jeremy's setting up the chat, so I'll just welcome everyone. Oh, Designs Laura, hi, sweetheart, thank you for coming. Uh, hi, Jeremy from Designs Laura. Uh, let's see here, Antoinette said hello, Robin Harriman, Dina, Aqua Lover. Thank you all so much for showing up. I see, I think, 39 people in it, looks like. Um, anyways, I had such a hectic and crazy day down at the gallery auction facility. We are in the midst of a heck of a marathon to get catalogs done. Um, Monica, I see you. Linda Lee, hello. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Tony, hello. Hi, Sue Dillon. Hi, Becky Tobias. Hi, Elizabeth K. 49 people in. Carly, welcome. Um, so it, today was crazy. Uh, it was absolutely a marathon day like most. Um, but we're handling this as best as possible. Oh, oh, Gemma Antoinette, thank you so much for the $10. I'm so excited. So um, that's a big thing. That's a really big thing, Antoinette. Um, and the reason for it is I'm trying to get um, fully monetized and uh, I don't ever ask for money, but that was just amazing because now I'm even closer yet. So thank you. Um, Gigi is there. Um, the, the chat on the left side of my camera kind of comes in and out, so you'll have to forgive me. Um, Mary, Seth, if Gabe is here, Rod, um, Michelle, uh, Julie, uh, Gigi, anyone who I've missed, um, thanks for coming, 55 people in. Um, thank you again, Antoinette, so much. Anne is here. Hi, Anne. Uh, hi, Steve. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. I'm glad you could make it. I'm so glad you could make it. So many familiar, oh, vintage uh, dog. Hi, mwah, mwah, mwah. Leslie's here. If you guys don't know Leslie, please go to her channel. Uh, she has fantastic sales. Anne Hurricane is here. Thank you so much. Um, Becky S is here. Hi, Becky. Oh, this is fantastic. So thank you for making my day. Getting back to um, uh, my day at work, very chaotic, very crazy. Um, just, you know, a difficult marathon day. And um, this is my reward to be here with all of you. First off, fancy show and tell in the first portion, and then I'll entertain questions as soon as I get my chat back up um, and running. So as um, a Capricorn, I'm an industrious problem solver. So when stuff doesn't go right, I like that. I play like it does. <laughs> so um, thank you all for spending some time with me. Um, just a couple things to clear off of my desk. Uh, first, oh, Treasure Pirate, thank you so much for coming. Another fantastic channel. Treasure Pirate, absolutely love you. Um, if you don't, um, also, of course, everyone here knows Tanya at My Jewelry Addiction. Please, please, please go over to Tanya, My Jewelry Addiction. Oh, Seth, you, um, you totally made it. Seth, my skeleton, you made it. Um, I wanted to say that um, um, if you don't know Tanya's channel, please go over to My Jewelry Addiction. Dina Marie, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. And you said you couldn't be outdone. <laughs> so thank you, Dina Marie, very, very much. It, it, it does really help my channel at this point. So thank you. Um, my Jewelry Addiction, Tanya, you made it. Um, so getting back to that. So go to Tanya, My Jewelry Addiction. Um, she's there and she can drop her link. Um, Tanya, if you could for me, if you could please drop that girl, Dina Marie's link as well. So that that is, again, that beacon, that effervescent spirit, that kind, loyal, amazing person. Um, I, I'm not just going to promote one person ever, but Dina Marie, please go over to that girl, Dina Marie. And um, please, Tanya, please, Tanya, please, Tanya, drop her link for me, please. Um, another one that I would love for Tanya to drop for me, if you don't mind, and then I'll leave you alone, Tanya. Your work will be done. Sit back and enjoy. Crazy Maze Stash. That's Mia, and it's Crazy Maze, M-A-Y-S, Stash. 
Um, she's at 900 plus subs. I'd really love to see her get to a thousand. She deserves it. She's amazing. She sells affordable things. Um, and she's very honest with what she delivers. Uh, and I've considered her a friend now. So Jeremy got my chat up. So now I can see everybody that's here. Thank you so much, Jeremy. Um, on to clearing this desk. All right. Long day at work. Wasn't really 100% settled in, but I got to clear some stuff. So first things first. This is for Seth. So Seth, this is your little educational video. All for you, but everyone else, 69 people will see it. So Seth, this is technically Amphora. Look at it. It's not chalkware. It's Amphora. It's made in teplets. And um, it's an Austrian vase. And look at it. No chalkware here, no chalkware at all. And look at the um, look at the glaze on this, the naturalistic form. It's 100% Art Nouveau and it's an original. Um, again, made in Teplitz, Austria, and it is technically Amphora and a beautiful, beautiful version of an Art Nouveau vase. Just fantastic. So Jeremy put me up to that. Um, so now that that's over with and done, I'm gonna take a sip of water because I'm all dry out already. Um, Mm. On to a little doorstop that I found. Um, look at this German Shepherd doorstop. It's from right at around mm, 1920. Um, I believe that it's um, I believe that it's by Stevens. Um, and I'm not I'm not exactly sure, but I'm gonna do some more research on this. But the original patina, the original oxidation, and I probably have Stevens wrong. No, AC Williams. I think it's by Williams. Yeah. Um, cast iron by Williams, but fantastic. And um, now my brain is on, but I found that at an antique mall just recently, and I'm gonna add that to my pile of door stops. And I'm gonna have a video, like a parade of things, like parades of different collections. Um, parades of door stops will be one of them. Um, all right, we've got 74 people in. An arts and crafts purse, um, because my collection kind of doesn't stop at anything. This is made out of tooled leather. And then this top portion you would think is Bakelite. It's not. Um, it's in the other plastic family. And I'm still not exactly sure what we've got going on there. But it's not celluloid and it's not Bakelite. So it could be um, Catlin. Uh, it, it's close to Bakelite. Um, but look at how beautiful. And then this swivel bale opens the purse up. Okay, so it's just fantastic in terms of an arts and crafts purse right at 1911, 1911 and 1915, um, but in such good condition for a leather purse from the arts and crafts time period. So I loved that and it was very affordable. I think that, I think I got that for like $18 and years ago, those were still going for like 125. Now they're down a little bit, maybe 75 to 85, but still worth picking up. Um, I'll get this other portion off of my desk. So this is a yarn painting um, and it kind of shows the diversity of my personal collection. Um, I had had this in my storage and I wasn't sure I was going to keep it because I'm in a major downsize right now. But um, I decided to keep it and I did some research. It's by the Huchal Shamans from Mexico and they did these yarn paintings and it's completely constructed out of yarn that then's um, put in contour and then glued down to a board. So it's glued down to a board, but just really beautiful work. And I loved the vibration of the colors and I loved the saturation and the composition really got me, really got me thrilled. Antoinette, thank you for the reminder of thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for everyone for being here. Um, a little bit off my desk and then we'll go with this to really clear this one corner. So I go from that kind of ethnographic art to this really beautiful Bavaria porcelain portrait bowl. Now this is a decal transfer on the inside, but the outside is decal transferred, but then also hand painted with gold and a little bit of overlay there. Okay, so that one is um, Bavaria and it's got its cipher mark on the back. There you go, Bavarian. And um, I really loved her. I thought she was just so serene um, and not overly stylized or idealized, you know, not like an idealized beauty, but just so beautiful with her diaphanous uh, shirt and the way her hair was laying. I just really thought she was special, but she's going to be sold. So um, she's not in, uh, you know, the permanent collection as I knock down part of my display over here. Um, this one is Art Glass. It's by Savata, S-A-V-A-T-A. -A -A. And uh, they were a manufacturer of art glass 
but they normally didn't do them so gigantic. They normally did them much, much smaller. So this one is extremely complex, but look at the gradation of the green to this blue. So it almost looks like water, but it also reads as sky. Um, seemed very familiar to me, you know, seemed very naturalistic and very familiar, but I love the size of it. They're always signed on the bottom. It's gonna be very difficult to see, but the great part of it is this came with paperwork from the glassworks. Um, and this has a lot of information on it for the glass artist, for the studio, and then a whole bunch of information on him as a glass artist, and then also some of the pieces that he produced. Um, but it's, it, it's an inlay technique and then blown, but these um, nighttime calla lilies um, just really had me, um, you know, it had such a, an Asian flair to it, but you could tell that it was, you know, by the hand of an American uh, craftsperson. So it really had me going, and I love the size and the scale of it, and I love the color play on the surface. So you can see my love for, from the Art Nouveau Austrian, Art Nouveau pottery one to the more contemporary art glass one, it kind of shows my diversity as a collector that I didn't stop at materials or design, okay? So there we go. Um, now, um, because I have jewelry, all my jewelry people, I, I, I dug deep for you um, for this video. Uh, 86 lucky people here to see this. Um, and it, you're lucky because um, I normally wouldn't have these out. These are from the Iberian Peninsula, and they're from around 1790 to about 1810. Um, they are silver-topped gold. Look at the construction on the back of these. So familiarize yourself with the way early stones were set. They were closed back set um, and then foiled from underneath. The green stones you're looking at are in fact gem grade emeralds. Um, these earrings are approximately four and a half inches long and a very rare survivor to be found intact and to be found as a pair, just incredibly, incredibly rare. Um, and I, I said to myself, I had to come up with something crazy special for all of you. And this was one of the things that I dug deep on. Uh, they'll go back to safety deposit tomorrow um, or actually maybe uh, Monday. <laughs> um, I'll try and do a short with them as well. Um, but I um, thought they were exquisite. And they also have little diamond accents. Um, but part of this is, I will have to do a close up. Part of these earrings lifts off. So each little section that's articulated does lift off of the other section it's connected to. So most of the times these are not found complete. So um, those were um, just fantastic. And uh, I had to share those for a special thing. Um, let's see here, this was in one of my shorts. It's one of the dragonflies that I made. It is a brooch and okay, can you slow down? You're doing a great job. Okay, Antoinette, you got it. Uh, I have, Antoinette, I've got 9 million things to show. <laughs> so I'm way overbooked with stuff on my desk. Uh, or I would slow down. <laughs> uh, this is lucite, and I made this out of lucite and sterling silver, and then enamel, enamel, and then rhinestones down the body, and it's a brooch. So it's a gigantic brooch, you know, um, but someone had seen this in one of my shorts and said, could you bring that? And I said, sure, but it's all hand pierced out of um, plastic, acrylic, and lucite, and then inset hematite eyes, inset uh, enamel sterling silver cups all the way down. Hi, Daisy. Um, and then, you know, just really beautiful. And the wings do move. So you can actually, you know, move the wings and pose the wings. Um, you can move them around. <laughs> so anyways, just fantastic and whimsical. But one of my creations, and I wanted to bring that um, for my show and tell. And um, you're right, I will slow down a little bit. Um, this is Alice Cavanus. Some people pronounce it differently. I'm American and I'm proud of it. So I'll say Alice Cavanus. <laughs> uh, but it's um, opalescent glass and rhinestone. And just totally, hi, Angela. Just totally fantastic. Um, just absolutely, absolutely amazing. Opalescent glass, rhinestone, and Alice. And it's signed both on the necklace and the earrings. Um, but that's one of the things that um, kind of started my collection of costume. I think I bought this from Riverfront Antique. I know where I bought this. I bought this from Riverfront Antique Mall in New Philadelphia, Ohio. And for all the people in Ohio that watch this, you know Riverfront Antique Mall. It was one of the best. And we miss it greatly. 
Um, but that is one of the necklaces uh, that I bought. And when I bought that, um, I had to save up for about a month. And I think back then it was like $300. And um, now, I mean, can you imagine what the price would be? Again, opalescent glass. Everyone needs to just chill out. <laughs> it's just glass. It's no big deal, but it's fantastic. Not taking anything away from glass because... Here's another piece, <laughs> opalescent glass, and this is by Fostoria. Um, it's the heirloom line, and I have a very, very large holding of heirloom. Um, it's just what, what it did for me back in the day when I was looking for things to decorate with, there were certain colors and certain styles that um, I, I was, I was uh, pulled towards. And this is one of them, you know. Um, 90 people in, thank you all so much again for joining me. It's really important to have you here. So thank you again so much for giving me your time tonight. So we're 15 minutes in. And again, I have like, you know, a, a ton more stuff to go over. Let me move this out of the way. Um, I guess I'll go with this one. Um, a Vendome necklace and um, earrings and bracelet set. And of course, it's all jumbled up in the box, but it does come with the original Vendome box. It's from the late 1950s, early 1960s. But look at the coloration of this glass and look at the condition of this. These are all really large cabochons and they're blue Aurora Borealis. Um, they're set in a silver toned antique metal. Um, and I just, um, I love this necklace. And then you've got the matching bracelet, because why not? But look how wide the bracelet is. It's really wide and really fantastic. Um, I, I just love it very, very much. And then we've got these incredible Vendome earrings. We've got the matching earrings. So it's a three-piece set that, again, uh, fully hallmarked on the back Vendome as well. So not only in the original box, um, but definitely uh, something that is uh, just beautiful and fantastic. Again, when I was doing, when I was collecting costume back in the day, you know, these things were extremely affordable. You know, I would go to antique malls, antique shows, um, and, you know, thrifts and, you know, thrift stores and consignment stores. And it was so affordable back then. And I was so glad that I was smart enough to buy it and put it away until now, you know, um, and now I can share it with all of you. Um, a cut crystal and um, big light chips inside of it, why not, right? A cut crystal vanity um, box, and it would be used for either jewelry or small things or trinkets, but it's in such good condition. And I don't, I was just telling Jeremy the other day, I don't get in a cut crystal very often, but this was cut literally Three. Oh, hi, Tamara. Mwah. Hi. Um, I uh, I love cut crystal very, very much, um, but I don't normally, you know, seek it out to collect it. But this was just too good not to have. Um, and it's old. It would probably be um, right at the, I would say about the 20s. Might be a little bit earlier because the way it's cut and the way it's handled with its patterning. So I love that for a dresser box. And of course, inside of that shows my love for Bakelite. There's Bakelite in every box in this house, but these were poker chips, uh, orange, yellow, and green. And my goal was to turn this into jewelry. And uh, I'm definitely going to get to that soon. So also, thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart, and I mean this, Thank you so much for the love you have for my silver jewelry that I want to create. Um, I am so deeply inspired to get back into the studio now that I brought the j Marbles um, into that video. And you've all responded about how much, you know, you love the idea of me producing jewelry from them. So um, I most certainly... Um, have been elated over the last 24 hours. Um, it's like I, I feel so different. I feel 15 years younger <laughs> um, and I feel relieved in a way. Um, just when I thought sometimes, you know, I go to bed at night and I still sometimes, I don't feel alone, you know, because I have family and I have Jeremy. So I'm never really alone. But um, losing both of my dogs and, um, you know, dealing with the stress of life and work can really wear at a person. <laughs> and um, you have really all, all 3,000 plus of you have really kind of um, erased a lot of that for me. So I, I so appreciate it. And the way you make me feel, I hope I give that back to all of you. I, I can sincerely say, I hope I um, return that to each and every one of you because you've been so 
amazing to me. Um, you've really filled me up. And I know that Tanya and Dina and Kirsten, um, I know that everyone else that I, you know, discuss with on, on YouTube, they all feel the same. Um, there's, they, none of them feel any different. They, they feel the love, they feel the friendships. Um, and, um, I just, I have to thank you. So, uh, please know that, um, I, I seriously love you and I really am so glad, uh, that you're here with me. So, um, 104 people in, um, and not a single problem so far. Amazing. <laughs> so, um, this is a Bristol vase. Um, it is from England, um, and it's just a beautiful hand-painted enamel, fired on. The, the, the ground is, I love you too, Dina. The ground on this, Jamie B, oh, Jamie B, mwah, hi, sweetheart. Um, I'm sorry for, hi, Debbie. I'm so, I'm so sorry that I keep missing people in chat, but I, I'll get to that in just a second. D please don't think I'm ignoring you because you're the reason why I'm here. Um, Bristol, enamel. Um, Becky, I love you too. I love you so much. Um, enamel and, um, I, I just loved it. I love the scale. I loved the cherry blossom design. Hi, Deborah. Love you. Um, I, um, Jeremy, that's Deborah that loves bull terriers. <laughs> Jeremy loves bull terriers. It's his favorite breed. Um, oh, Kirsten's channel. Thank you, Tanya. Um, and just the way this is handled. So graceful, beautiful. And again, it was like $3.00. And uh, I just had to. Tanya, can you also drop um, Jamie B's if you haven't? Um, Jamie B's channel, please, because um, everybody should know about Jamie B as well. Tanya, I'm sorry to make you work, but um, I, I know you don't mind. <laughs> At least I hope you don't. <laughs> I'll hear about it later if you do mind. <laughs> so um, this is a necklace from, um, uh, this is Hans Hansen, H-A-N, Hans H-A-N-S, and then Hansen, H-A-N-S-E-N. -E um, it is a fully articulated, modernist uh, neck ring. There was just something so incredible about its simplicity. Um, it, it, when it's on, I, I've worn it so many times, um, but when I was packing for the move, I, I was listing on eBay the one day and I just decided I couldn't part with this. I, I just couldn't do it because when it's on me, I just, I, I, I love it. I just feel it's fantastic. And um, I, I had to keep it. So that was a yes. So that's going to stay with me and make the move. And then this one is by Norway Designs Plus. And I'll get into the Scandinavian makers eventually. Again, you know how I am. I don't want to pull information off a line. I want to give you the Jason practical guide. It's not because I'm better than anybody else. It's because I'm, I'm different. And so my information level is just different. And it's much more um, of application in real life. Um, and this is a hammered sterling silver neck ring and then an, a tumbled agate stone. And then it is signed with the Norway Designs Plus Hallmark in a few di different areas. Um, oh, De uh, Janice, thank you so much for being here. Um, and um, Becky, if you're here, and Mary, if you're here, thank you all for being here. April, Sandy, Ed, um, the list rolls on, Derek, Kelly. Um, I guess I should say, Penny, thank you for coming. Um, Deborah, Laura. Debbie at DC Designs and Collectibles. Um, I actually carried your Zito purse the other day for the first time. Um, everyone was going crazy over it. Trojan, thank you so much for being here, my handsome friend. Um, Mary, fantastic. Tamara, um, Yippee IO, um, thank you for being here. Steve's Collect, Joan, Bless Bobbles. Sherry, I'm sorry that I missed you. Um, Tanya, could you also take care of um, Bless Bobbles? <laughs> um, uh, Sherry's channel, Blessed Bobbles. Tanya, if you could grab that. Tanya, I'll give you um, a super chat of 99 cents for every, every link you drop. Um, okay, on to, and I'm sorry if I forgot anyone's channel. It's never intentional. Trust me, if it was, I would call you out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would never do that. Angela, uh, I love you. Thank you. Daisy, thank you. Okay, uh, Sylvie at the of the sea i don't know you but i'm so glad you're here um timeless jewels by deborah what did you do thank you so much gee whiz i love you right back um vanessa thank you for being here doug thank you for being here um 111 people in and i don't feel quite as overwhelmed as the first time <laughs> so thank you all very very much um oh hold on wait one second hold on let me click on this um and Add as moderator, standard moderator. I think I turned Jeremy blue. Did I turn Jeremy blue? Jeremy, say something in the chat. <laughs> Jeremy, 
I think I turned you blue. And if someone comes in here like they did the last time and tried to ruin my thing, you zap them, okay? Bless Bobbles. Thank you, Tanya, so much. Okay, now I can leave you alone, I think. I think I can leave you alone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Tanya. I'm sorry to make you work so much. And Deborah, thank you again so much for the super chat because, like I said, I'm trying to get to the point of full monetization and I wasn't there because, you know, how that goes. Anyways, uh, Norway Designs Plus, I love its simplicity. Uh, I just think that this is, again, something that, you know, I was going to sell it and I decided not to. Okay, you don't need a lecture series about all the stuff I'm going to keep. <laughs> um, oh, I'm super excited about this. So this was in one of my shorts. Um, for all you rhinestone lovers, this is, in fact, a DME um, creation for Juliana. So when people on YouTube say about, you know, Juliana, it is produced by DME, but they also produce for several other companies. So everyone just needs to kind of, you know, take it down a little bit and say, you know, it's produced by DME. Um, and uh, this is definitely a certified and verified um, uh, Juliana. And thank you, Tanya, for all the links that you're dropping. Thank you so much. Um, oh, okay. And Doug's having a sale at 3 p.m. sometime. Okay. Naming's by, okay. Uh, nails by Jamie B. Got it. Antoinette. Okay, I get so distracted. I'm like a squirrel. Here I go. Um, so look at that. All its goodness. Um, and again, headlight rhinestones that I consider headlight, um, even though they're now Rivoli. Um, again, you know, I grew up in the 90s, so our terminology was slightly different. Uh, we don't need to be um, harassed about it. <laughs> we need love too. And these are the matching earrings. Okay, so uh, that set was, to me, I, I just, I loved the whole thing about it, you know? I mean, how could you not love that, right? Okay, so there's that. Show and tell is almost over. Um, we've almost made, well, no, I'm kidding. We almost made it. An art pottery vase. I kind of loved it because the color, and it's a micro crystalline on the top. So we have micro crystalline, kind of this frothy, um, earthy, almost like uh, winter time in Ohio. And then this um, dramatic drip glaze, like almost flambe in a way, but not really. I don't want to call it that because then people are going to like, think they have flambe glazes at home and they really don't. So I'm not gonna use a term that doesn't apply. But then this drip and the viscosity of the glaze, uh, the way the drip is controlled is really fantastic. And the coloration, that just made me incredibly, incredibly happy. So, um, but again, it's not staying, but I love the size of it. I mean, look how monumental and how well made that is. So um, Vanessa loves art pottery. Well, at least she loved uh, one of my art pottery pieces in the last one. So I was like, I'm gonna show her some art pottery from my girl, Vanessa. And she finally showed up. So. Um, oh, agate ware. Um, this is antique and it's agate ware. And um, it is made to look like stone because obviously that looks like agate, right? Absolutely does. The bottom is, the top is. This is from around 18, this is a tough to date, but this is around 1865 to 1875. And basically what it is, is a porcelain body and then um, different colors of powder were then mixed and folded into the um, porcelain body into the uh, into the clay body. And then you have this really beautifully modeled and gigantic version. Normally, the lids are completely broken, right? Completely broken, smashed beyond repair. And this lid is absolutely perfect. So, um, and it's agate wear, and I just really loved its form, and I really loved everything about it. All right, so there's that. I made it on that side of the table. It's now clear. Onto this side of the table. Um, you know how I have affection for cameos and unset cameos. This one just came in and there's something about this that got me completely crazy. It is a Trojan warrior, and I'm sorry that you really can't see it. I'll flip it around. Uh, the intaglio, see how he's carved from behind? So essentially, I thought that possibly when this was set, it was set just like that. Now, when you put light through it, which if I had a little flashlight, when you put light through it, it becomes three-dimensional. Um, and that big, bold line on the center there, that was part of the stone, but they planned it so it could be part of the outfit. And again, that's extremely early. Uh, that might be as early as, again, 1850, 1860, would have been mounted in 14 karat gold, um, but apparently the gold mounting had um, sadly, went away over time. You know, they claimed it, and uh, but it's retoidled agate. So um, I'll explain retoidled agate eventually. Um, Jen's gems is very good with stones too. Um, she's a gemologist, but um, retoidled agate 
is um, something that I've always been very, very fond of, and I have a fountain pen that's made out of it as well. So it's not really a common material, but it's something that I'll talk about. Another piece of jewelry, and then we'll get into some hair combs, some bake light pins, and then question and answer, um, because I think that's why some of you are here as well. This is by Coro. It's a very odd Coro um, uh, iris, cold painted enamel rhinestone. Again, look how sizable, you know, and all the stones are there. Back in the day, I paid um, $8 for this. And now um, online, you know, they're going for three, four, five hundred dollars $500. And uh, my sea serpent brooch that I just sold, uh, that I had in, a, in another one of my videos, um, the Coro sea serpent, um, Jeremy was with me the day I bought it at a yard sale. And I don't like to talk about price or profits of, um, you know, my business. I paid very, very little for it. It's an extremely rare brooch. I put it on eBay for $1,200 and I um, got $950 for it. And I was just hopeful, hopeful, hopeful that the lady was going to love it that bought it. And she left me the most amazing feedback and she was so delighted with it. Um, and on my eBay, um, I'm now at, uh, I told Jeremy the other day, kind of a big thing, 27,000. This is incredible to me. 27,000 transactions. 27 thousand transactions and very few issues which um if you line up twenty seven thousand people you're gonna have some problems <laughs> no matter who you are so um a big accomplishment i'm so proud of that i really really am um and this is a mixed metal japanese object of virtue this was only meant to sit on a desk it had no other function whatsoever but look at the mixed metals so basically you had a meiji period um, uh, metalsmith that wasn't, thank you so much, Michelle. Uh, I am very much so because of all of you as well. And I mean that. Um, mixed metals, Meiji, uh, Japanese. So when they weren't making swords and they were kind of like out of business, um, that's what they were doing is uh, they were um, producing things like that, objects of virtue. 121 people. Thank you so much again. I'm so, so glad that you're all here. Um, and if someone's watching the playback um, and if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments and I'll get to that. As well. This is an enameled um, guilloche enamel, beautiful uh, award presentation medal. It's English. It has all the information on the back of it, the person that it was presented to, the time period that it was produced in. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you so much. Um, and thank you so much. Um, Daria, thank you. And thank you all. I just, I don't know. I lose track of I lose track of what I want to say when I come on because, and then I decided as an auctioneer, I wanted some um, gavels because I like to make noise with things and I like to annoy Jeremy. Like my, I think the only reason why I live anymore is to annoy Jeremy. Um, and I said it with a straight face, but it's hilarious. This one is Bakelite and I have like 900. Um, oh, my uh, eBay um, user ID. I, I had it written down in one of my videos, one of my lives. My ID is Vanity, V-A-N-I-T-Y. <laughs> Deborah, it's not it's not funny. It's totally true. Um, he'll come on camera sometime and he'll tell you about it. And then you all not want to subscribe to me anymore because I terrorized Jeremy. Um, it's Vanity Sugar Bush, V-A-N-I-T-Y, Sugar, S-U-G-A-R, Bush, B-U-S-H, Vanity Sugar Bush. Um, and that's my eBay handle. And then Jeremy's is off camera and I can't get to it. It's J Fly, whoops, nope, J Fly underscore. I don't know. I'll have to look. Anyways, I'll get to that. And uh, you can go to Jeremy's uh, uh, eBay as well. So Bakelite. And then look how little this one is. Can you imagine me going to the state of Ohio's, um, you know, the test in, in April and bringing this with me and being like, this is my gavel. Look how hilarious. I mean, is that not, I want my, I want my auctioneer picture to have me like in a suit and tie like me in a suit and tie with this, Becky, it is funny. Me in a suit and tie with like this, with like my, my face all like proud. <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be terrible. You know what I mean? Could you imagine this? It's not funny. I'm going to get fired. I know it's going to happen. Uh, I'm not going to have to quit my job. I'm going to get fired. So look at this. It's Diaspora. It's Lotes. Unbelievable. <laughs> and I know, Dina. It's terrible. Dina, when I get fired, can I come work with you? <laughs> so just tell Brian I'm going to move in. Look at this. Lotes Diaspora. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Tanya, it's not funny. Unbelievable. Can you... Thank you so much. There's Jeremy's eBay. So Jeremy with his wrench, with his new all high and mighty wrench. Jeremy just dropped his eBay link. It's jfly78 underscore three. Jeremy sells amazing stuff. Um, 
Oh, there's Robin. I know it's terrible. Oh, I do, Penny, I do need Thor's hammer. Can you imagine? Yeah, it's not good. I'm getting so distracted by chat. And you know what? In a couple minutes, I'm going to ditch this whole thing about fancy show and tell. Um, and I'm just going to talk with you guys because I love it. Uh, I'm, I'm totally amazed. This is Lotz Diaspora. Can you, oh, <laughs> can you, thank you, Antoinette. Can you imagine the craft that it took to make this at the turn of the century? It is, it, it's, uh, it's heaven on earth. Um, it's just fantastic. Hi, Roberta. Mwah. Hi, Janie. Um, it's just fantastic. Uh, I, I, I love this. I have a smaller version. Um, it's not always like the, the bigger, the better. It's, it's not, but the form on this one. Anyways, I could talk about that for like, I, I see that's the thing. I get distracted by this stuff. Now, because I'm by no means perfect at, at all, I, I'm the farthest from perfect that you can actually physically get in a human. Uh, trust me, the people that work with me will testify to that. I'm an awful, awful human. <laughs> so, and, uh, and <laughs> well, they will, <laughs> Jeremy's already laughing. So, um, so I was wrong. I bought two things. I bought two, um, I bought two items and I was wrong. I had all the information completely opposite, okay? So I'll show you the first one first and I, I'm gonna do these in another video, but I wanted you to see these now. So this one right here um, that you are looking at is Chinese and it's a rank badge. So this was actually, you know, sewn to either the front or the back of a robe or an outfit. Now this is extremely early for a rank badge and it's R-A-N-K, rank and then badge. And this one is Chinese. All right, so hand embroidered, hand done. Um, mainly on this one, the fibers are in the woolen and uh, cotton uh, uh, um, uh, family of thread, okay? So you've got that one, right? So I thought that this one was the like, you know, $10,000, uh, you know, uh, $10,000 um, uh, um, rank batch, you know? And I was wrong, I, I was way wrong. So this one is worth between anywhere between three and six hundred. Okay, so because of its age, and it is separate pieces applied, and then a central seam. So very early uh, Chinese. All right. Then I picked up this one, and I thought that this one was also Chinese. Right. So I looked at this one, and I thought, okay, that one's Chinese as well. Silver thread, you know, couched, couched silver threads embroidered, hand embroidered, right? So I really want you to study this. I, I want you to, um, to really look at this and, and really look at the work that went into this. So couched threads, all silver and completely hand gathered, and then appliqued across the surface, mixed also with silk. Look at the Victorian frame that this has been in for well over 140 years, okay? So I wish I could get a little bit better image for you on this, but this is just incredible. Now, I thought that this one was worth less than this one. I come to find out that this is supposedly from Korea or Korean in origin. It's not Chinese, which is what I thought it was, but it's not Chinese, it's Korean. This one is worth between seven and $9,000, and it's, it's just the opposite. So I learned something extremely valuable um, with a little bit of time and a little bit of research and a little bit of care. So I'm gonna tell you now, I learn every single day of my life. And I usually don't like those um, cliche sayings, like I, I still learn every day of my life or whatever, you know, I, I don't like sayings like that. They actually drive me nuts. I don't like them. And, um, but this is true. I actually learned something extremely valuable you know, and I took my time and look at the work that I just, I marvel at this. And um, if I would have been hasteful, if I would have been hasteful in my um, selling, I would have made about a $7,000 mistake because I would have had the values reversed. Um, and that's my job as an auction advisor to do for other people. You know, that's my full-time position to make sure that I don't make those mistakes, you know? So let me go to the chat really quick and then I'm gonna share some bake light brooches, a crystal bowl, and uh, we'll be good. Does anyone, let's see, I wanna make sure. Um, let's see here. Okay, Seth's still here, that's great. Um, Janie, that's great. Roberta. Uh, yeah, 130 people watching. We do need some thumbs up. Thank you for the reminder. 130 people. Thank you so much. 
Uh, Sherry at Bless Bobbles, I totally love you. You are an easy one to love. You're all easy to love. Mary Jones, yes, mm-hmm, yes, absolutely correct. Thank you, Tanya, for the reminder. Becky, um, just, oh, Robin, that's interesting. Your brother-in-law is Korean. Amazing. Show him that, um, Robin, and see what he has to say. Um, if he if he would know anything more about that, because I'm still doing some research. Oh, um, G Girl uh, eight two eight. I need glasses, by the way. I told Jeremy need glasses, but I refuse to go. I, I just don't want to do that because then he'll make fun of me, and it won't be good. Because then I'll you know um, it won't be good. Okay, so about my blue ring, lapis lazuli, not treated, um, totally out of the ground. That color and that saturation probably has big fingerprints on it. And then, um, the, well, I'll take it off. The mounting is um, rose cut diamonds and then calibrate cut natural sapphire and just remarkable. It's, um, you know, I always say remarkable because it is silver, gold. Um, Jeremy was with me when I saw this ring and um, I decided that I had to have it after I saw it and I bought it, I think a year and a half later, um, but it's amazing. Look how big, you know, I, I love this. Um, but thank you for asking about my blue ring. I love that. Um, oh, I would look good with glasses. You know what? Maybe I'll do it, Gigi. Yeah. You know what? I would get like the Dame Edna ones, you know, like the huge Dame Edna. Now, Jeremy's like wanting me to put glasses on right now. Mm -mm, not going to happen. Remember how my face looked the last time when Jimmy came into my live and ruined my life? <laughs> Just kidding. He didn't. Um, past question was how to store Bakelite. Oh, thank you, Mary. So um, Mary is my mother um, and she is an angel. Um, she is um, a, an absolute angel. Oh, Crazy May Stash Mia's here. Uh, Mia, I um, I begged Tanya to drop your link because I want all 136 people to go raid your channel. So whoever is here that doesn't know about Crazy May's Stash, Crazy May's Stash, um, please, please, please go over to Mia's channel and subscribe to her. I beg you, I beg you, I beg you 1,200 times over. Um, you will love her because um, Mia is warm, honest, friendly, uh, will keep you company, and is a heck of a great seller, okay? So um, Mia, thank you so much for um, popping in, and I really want to get you to that over 1,000 mark. Um, so Mary said about, I have to go back to that, Mary said about how to store Bakelite. That's a really, really, really good question, and I'm sorry that I missed it. Um, Bakelite is not as finicky as other plastics. Um, celluloid and um, brass and metal do not get along. So when you open a button box and you have that real strong camphor smell, that real strong chemical, it smells like camphor, um, that is because celluloid is stored next to metal and the two materials don't get along. They don't like each other at all. They actually hate each other. Um, and uh, when you put them together and seal them, um, when you open the a button box and you smell that smell, that's because camphor has started to let loose. And you'll probably see some dust or some crumbles in the bottom of the button tin. We've all seen it. Um, or you'll see buttons that are, quote, sick. They're like, uh, they look like crystallized. They looked like uh, a broken glass, like someone had shattered glass. Um, and those are buttons that are sick because they're celluloid next to metal and then in a container, they don't like it. So put your celluloid apart from, uh, metal. Okay. That's, that's one thing for celluloid. For Bakelite, it's not as finicky. Now I have seen Bakelite get sick before, but it's because it was stored in a very humid environment. Um, whether it be humidity too, too hot, uh, or it be, uh, with, um, um, too much moisture in the air. Sometimes the translucents, apple juice and Pristol. And, and I'm going to do a video on Pristol because I'm not, I, I don't watch a lot of YouTube or a lot of other channels, but some people have misidentified Pristol Bakelite. They, I think they like to say that it's Pristol because it sounds cool. Uh, there is a difference between Pristol and translucent. I'll get into that. Trust me, I will. Um, you have to remember that I was in the formative years of like the Bakelite collectors um, and they were so kind to me um, to teach me what they knew. Um, to store Bakelite, uh, I'll, I'll show you my trays here in just one second when I can reach them. I'll get up and grab them. Um, I keep them in a cotton-backed um, glass front case. Um, I just recommend allowing any plastics or any natural materials the ability to breathe. 
I don't have a tendency to seal those things in plastic bags because if something starts to happen, it, it escalates the process. Uh, the fumes being trapped in something, that's just my suggestion from my now 20 plus years of collecting it. Uh, that would be my suggestion. Bracelets, just leave them out of the sun. You know, don't put them in direct sunlight. Don't put them in a hot attic. Don't put them in a, a basement. Uh, store them and, and you'll be fine. Um, I always say like my Crown Royal bags, I love storing stuff in my Crown Royal bags. So um, thank you for redirecting um, my, that question, Mary. I appreciate that. All right. Let me take a look here. Um, how long have you been selling on eBay to have that many sales? Carly, um, I actually... Um, I, I, I actually started selling on eBay for myself in 19, let me think here, I got to tell you the truth, 1998. I was selling on eBay before that at Ravenna's Antique Mall for two and a half to three years. So I've been a veteran of eBay now for 24, 25, 28 years. I've been selling complete on eBay. Of my own eBay, I, I think I've been on for 24 and a half, almost 25. So that's how I've acquired 27,000 uh, items sold. Um, okay, so great question, and I hope that helps you. Um, I do learn every day, absolutely. Lexi, hi, sweetheart. Hi, Anitra. I Spy Queens Anitra is here. If you haven't seen Anitra's shorts lately, go check Anitra out. And please, she's so chill. She's so easy to love. Anitra, you know that I love you. I absolutely, positively love you. Uh, Becky S., um, let's see here, Mary Jones. Um, let's see, Lapis Lazuli Blue. Yeah, Daria Kelly, you're right. Um, there's Mia's uh, channel. Hi, Mia. Okay, there we go. Got you, Mia. Uh, let's see here. Kristen asked about storing a plastic bag. Oh, yeah, don't store bake light in plastic bags. Uh, Bruden's, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. Amy Sachs, absolutely Bruden. I'm surprised he's not here. Um, so, Mia, thanks again for coming. And I hope um, my shout out helps you out because I love your channel, Mia. And thank you for always putting up with me, even when it's probably not the most popular. <laughs> uh, okay, Tamara, Jason, if you get glasses, you will have a giant collection in no time. <laughs> Tamara, you're right. Uh, Tamara, I probably have, Jeremy, do you think that'd be a problem if I get glasses? Because then I'd have like 900 pairs of glasses. Yeah, but you know, it's really weird. I. <laughs> Even though, you know, I always have said I'm the least most fashionable person. I mean, I once, no, I'm not going to tell you about one outfit. I'm not going to do it because then I'll lose subscribers. 140 people here. I don't want to lose anyone. The outfits um, in the 90s were, um, I'll have to bring my friend Jody on and he's been my li lifelong friend. I'll have to bring my friend Jody on and I'll tell you all about my outfits. It's not funny. Carmen Ellis, thank you so much for coming and a good distraction. <laughs> oh, I Spy Queens. Oh, yeah, Anitra's, Anitra's link. Yes, okay. So, Tanya, thank you. Please go over to Anitra's link. Please, please, please. And hit the subscribe button and please check her out. I beg you because I love her. 138 people, please go. Um, you'd look great in glasses. Vixen Dog Vintage. I've seen pics. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, Tanya has seen pics, but um, Tanya's not going to talk about that right now. <laughs> I just have... Love everything you're wearing. Oh, and, um, Antoinette. And thank you again, Antoinette, for uh, what you did. Uh, star pins that are kind of, it's not that they're nothing. So they're just sterling, but really fun. And then this one articulates. And then this is a platinum and diamond heart um, necklace. And I don't normally like heart-shaped things, but um, there's a reason for it. And then this is a Anthony Roberts um, uh, tourmaline and wire wrapped necklace. I don't normally do wire wrapped, but his stuff is great. And then this is a platinum and diamond dog tag. Uh, and I did this for my dad. Uh, they're diamonds and platinum, and my dad's doing so much better. So thank you all so much for your prayers, um, because my dad's doing so much better. And um, please, uh, please continue um, to pray for anyone who needs it. Um, and I mean that, you know, even if you have someone who doesn't love you back, please pray for them. Please, I, I would beg you, because uh, they need it. They definitely need it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I almost did a cartwheel. So Victoria Goldrick, Okay, you guys, I got to stop everything. Victoria Goldrick is um, Victoria Goldrick is a person who has known me since I was four and a half years old. Um, she is um, my lifelong friend of now 46 years. <laughs> so Victoria Goldrick, known as Tori. Um, Tori, Jeremy's sitting right off camera. Look, Tori made it. Are you kidding me? I'm so excited that my best friend in the whole wide world just found me. Um, and, uh, this is amazing. Um, and, uh, Vic, uh, um, Tori, my mom is in the chat as well. Uh, uh, Tori is one of my mom's favorite, 
of, of my friends. Uh, my mother loves Tori. So um, Tori is, um, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll be a level with all of you, uh, 143 people here. Me and Tori um, kept, um, kept each other on the planet several times. Um, we really um, navigated some difficult times and um, she is, um, she's a school teacher. I believe she's still in North Carolina. Um, she's a school teacher. She's an angel for animals. Um, she's my best friend. She's my soul sister. We have a connection that is like none other. Um, I, I don't know what else to say, but I'm so thankful that she's here. I, I love Tori. I love her. 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 I always will. Um, Thank you all for welcoming her because she's an incredible, incredible person to me. So getting a little teary-eyed. Um, hi, Jason. If black Bakelite cannot be tested, how can you verify it's Bakelite? Diana, thanks for asking that. So I, 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 I tripped up one time and I said that black and red never, never, never test. Okay, let me, let me clarify. So black never, 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 never tests. Okay, black will never test. Now, if it's blue, purple, that's turned black, it's going to test. Okay, but true black will not test. Um, reds, 75% mm, of the time, reds will not test, okay? And then sometimes reds will test. You can tell by density, by sound, by not having a seam, unless it's laminated colors together. So if they put two colors together and there's a seam and you can feel it, then there's a seam. But on the inside, it's not. It's all about density. Also, when you become more familiar with Bakelite forms and the way things are carved and the way things are high D, D, Thrill of the Thrift is here. Hi, D. I absolutely love you. Thanks for coming. 143 people. But um, so with Bakelite, uh, with black, it's it's based on what is a known pattern or a known carving, if that helps. I'm going to bring some Bakelite right now. I'm going to do it right now real, real quick. Um, I'll get a little parade of Bakelite going. Give me one sec. Let me grab some stuff. Hold on. Be right back. Give me one sec <laughs> as I knock everything over, I'm sure. Uh, let's see here. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh boy, this is not good. <laughs> this shows that I'm some sort of order. <laughs> oh well, okay. Oh, all right, my 50 year old niece. All right, so do we want a parade of Bakelite? Let's see here. If I can get another couple thumbs up, we're going to have a parade of Bakelite. Okay, so let me see here. Okay, Becky. Um, oh, Jason's mom, your son is ama an amazing, beautiful person. Becky Tobias. I'm really not so sure about who you are, but um, thank you, because, uh, yeah, you always have a way. I'll, there's, um, you all have a way with me. Chicken winner. Chicken winner. Hey, Jason, been enjoying your channel for a few weeks. Love the things you post. Chicken winner, thank you so much. You know what? I love your user ID. I love that. Chicken winner. No doubt about it. Um, I love Bakelite. Carmen, so do I. I spike Queens. Hi, D. Yeah, so um, D, um, hey, Tanya, oh, you got Thrill of the Thrift. Okay, so Tanya, so graciously, Tanya, I owe you another 99 cents. Um, um, Jeremy, it's not funny, I owe her money. Um, it's, um, yeah, D, Thrill of the Thrift. If you guys don't know D, Thrill of the Thrift, 146 people here, I beg you again, and then I'll leave you all alone, please go over to D's channel, subscribe, and hit the bell, because D is... Again, I, I get so excited. I, I don't know how to drop links, but I get so excited. So if you don't know Dee, please go over to her. She's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> Dina Marie. All right, are you guys ready for Bakelite? Can I? Can I, Can you guys tell me, say, I love Bakelite? Come on, someone say they love Bakelite and I'll do it. Helen? Yeah, yeah, Helen. Thank you, Helen Dawson. Okay, all right, I'm just gonna do it anyway. We're at 53 minutes. Okay, here we go. Bakelite parade, are we ready? Here's some of my Bakelite leaves. All right, so there's some Bakelite leaves, and I hope, oh, Tanya, thank you so much. Yes, I got another $10. Woohoo, I can buy another Bakelite pin. <laughs> okay, so here's some Bakelite. Okay, there, there we go. So there's two-tone leaves, and there's some black in there, so um, mixed colors. And the reason why I went with leaves is because in Ohio, um, we have the most amazing fall foliage, and I beg Jeremy every fall to, like, take me around to look at the leaves. And um, he, he gets so tired of it because I'm, I'm like tireless, you know, until I get my way, I, I, it's not good. I, I know it's not good. All right. So look at that. Are you kidding me? Is anyone loving this? Hold it to the camera so we can smell it. Absolutely. 
Can you smell what Bakelite is cooking? <laughs> yeah, look at that. Are you kidding me? All right, all right. So Bakelite leaks. All right. Now, um, okay, I'm making sure we're all good. Okay, are you ready? We have already to so do this, but at some point, can you tell us the best of the best? Oh, yeah, absolutely, Aaron. I'll get to that. Don't worry. Tamara, I don't want to miss any of this. Um, at some point, can you tell us the best of the best reference books? Oh, yeah, reference books. Okay, so, um, Anne, I'll just tell you now. So, Anne asked about the best of the best books. So, the books that have made me the person I am is um, Judith Miller. So, any book by Judith Miller, okay? A uh, uh, general antique book, jewelry, um, Ju uh, Judith Miller. The photographs are fabulous. The prices are fabulous. The layout is incredible. They're user-friendly. Great information. So please go to Judith Miller's books. Um, as of jewelry books, uh, the jewelry books, thank you, Jeremy. The jewelry books that I would recommend are anything by Christy Romero. The very first Warman's book by Christy Romero, it's Warman's, W-A-R-M-E-N-S, Warman's Price Guides by Christy Romero. I had the distinct privilege to meet Christy Romero. She was in charge of the jewelry studies in um, California. She unfortunately passed away from cancer um, uh, uh, several years ago now, but Christy Romero was the genius when it came to jewelry studies of antique and vintage. So any of the Warman's books that involved Christy Romero, specifically the first edition, uh, second edition, eh, it was okay. Third edition was great. And then after that, don't ask me, uh, cause I didn't get any more of them. Um, and then let me think here. Come on. I gotta think of something else. Okay. Um, just in general, um, Judith Miller's price guides. All right. So I hope that helped, uh, for the best of the best. Then I'm going to take you guys on a field trip to my library before I pack it up for the move. So we'll do that. Uh, I'm so glad that D Thrill the Thrift made it. All right, Bakelite pins. These are the school themed and these are the sports themes. So we've got like a megaphone and we've got, you know, um, we've got uh, every kind of school theme you could think of, you know, books, football, megaphone, pencils, fountain pens, the necklace, the brooches, the uh, football boot, the football helmets. Okay. So now we've got that. And then here's another one. Here's another tray of the fish and aquatic. So we've got an octopus. We've got the kissing fish. Um, of course, I had to have it in both colors because it was hard enough to find it in apple juice. And then I had to find it in uh, cherry jello. <laughs> I had to do that as well. And then we have a wooden one. We have a ship's wheel. We have a blue gill. And these are all very sizable. And this one snuck in right here. That one's a trafari jelly belly rhinestone with a cabochon eye. So that's a trafari jelly belly right here. Um, and then we have um, tropical fish, and then a palm tree, swordfish. Um, the anchor has a working compass in the center of it. And then this one is accented with uh, some brass beads. All right, so that's the fish uh, brooches. And then um, dogs, like why not? Are you kidding me? So um, look at all my dogs. I have the racing greyhounds, the front view boxer. There's a cat, of course I have to have a cat in there. There's an Airedale, there's terriers, there's a Springer Spaniel, a Scotty. Look at the little puppy that's over dyed resin wash. Uh, the Great Dane, um, that's a hard one to find. He's got like a metal collar on him. Um, Great Dane, there's the Front View Bulldog. I paid the most for him. Like back in the day, I think the Front View Bulldog, like back in the day, cost me like $2,300, like $2,300, $2,200, whatever. This one, the head moves. Dog in the Dog House, I have this um, times two. So this is the one I don't wear that's in perfect condition. And the other one that I do wear has some uh, paint wear on it. Uh, front View Terrier, Side View Terrier. Uh, the cat, like I said, racing greyhounds were some of my favorites with their little uh, wire-covered tails. But yeah, so there's some big light dogs. And I used to work at a veterinary clinic, like most of you know. So for every day of the week, I would try and wear a different Bakelite dog. These were some of my favorites that were the most rare of Bakelite brooches. There's two pigs in a cart. There's a frog. There's racing rabbits that actually move. There's an elephant. The Polynesian princess was one that I always wanted. Uh, the sailor and an anchor. Um, the uh, uh, squirrel in the tree, the giraffe, uh, this angel pig or angel cow. The chat is kind of blocking me out. I'm having trouble seeing around this. <laughs> so, and then the Native American front view totem pole. And again, this one, you know, back in the day, I think I paid like $3,500 for the front view totem pole. And now it's down to like, you know, $1,200, 1500 it's, it's no problem. I still enjoy it very much. Um, and then this one uh, facing left is a very hard one to find, the totem pole there. And then we've got the banjo playing frogs, their arms move, the penguin with the uh, swinging arm, the beautiful, beautiful African-American uh, with the eyes 
and then the um, uh, tomahawk with sandals, the hand with the heart charm. And then there is a Martha sleeper way up in the corner right there is a Martha, a Martha sleeper cheetah pin with its original paint leather ears. Love, love, love those. Then we've got some random dots and uh, we've got some, um, whoops, as they all shift downwards, we've got some random dot necklaces and earrings. Um, and I was always a fan of these colorful dotted pieces. They just made me incredibly, incredibly happy. Um, and uh, the different color combinations, like purple and cream was difficult, red and cream was difficult, uh, and then black and cream was like a favorite of most people because you could wear it with everything. So the random dot stuff, now that it all shifted down in its frame to drive me absolutely crazy. <laughs> and then this is some of the crystal and some of the apple juice fake light that I've collected. The cat with the, um, uh, the goldfish in the center, um, and then some of the apple juice pieces with reverse carving. So there you go. So there's just a whole bunch more. And the hammer was just amazing to me. So it's like a wooden hammer with an uh, apple juice bake like head. And then some of the reverse carved pieces. But so you know, this was seven trays of, you know, I hate to admit it, but that's seven trays of, I think, 34 or 35 trays of just brooches, you know. Then I did the bangles. They're all on, you know, uh, racks and displays. And then I did, um, you know, uh, bracelets. Those are in like trays. So 143 people. Let's see what's going on. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Uh, so Bulldog is great. Absolutely. Jelly Billy. Yep. Made the cut. Absolutely. Crazy. Never seen so much. Yes, Helen. But there's like maybe 10 more times. No, you don't. I will pay her back. I don't know what that means. You will have all the important treasures, Jason. Um, Okay, so we've got 141 people in. It's an hour in. Um, my belly is growling. I'm totally exhausted. Does anyone um, have anything that... Bye, Gigi. I love you very much. Thank you so much for coming, sweetheart. I absolutely love you. Gigi, your channel is fantastic. I love you. Um, Amy Sachs, uh, thanks for coming, Amy, and thanks for being here. Hi, baby bear. Absolutely. Uh, oh, Jason, please tell me these pieces have never been copied or faked. Becky Tobias, um, some of these uh, Bakelite brooches have been um, faked. Absolutely. Yes. And I'll get into fakes in real. Sarah's Journals. Um, Tanya, you know what you have to do. <laughs> Tanya, please don't hate me. You're, you never hate me. Please drop Sarah's channel. <laughs> I, <I'm laughs> and then I will leave you alone, I promise. So Sarah's Journals, if you guys haven't seen Sarah's journals, I beg you from the bottom of my heart, please go over and subscribe to her. Um, please. Uh, okay. Okay. Please, 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 uh, please. Um, okay. And for Antoinette, uh, Jeremy's eBay account, um, you tried to get there. Um, um, Antoinette, go to my previous live in the live feed and I hold up a sign and it's Jeremy's, um, Jeremy's eBay uh, on, on the sign, and, and you'll get there, okay? Uh, I promise. And if not, oh, Carmen Ellis, I'm a national treasure. I don't know if I can fill those shoes. I really don't. Um, I, I'm, not sure I can, I'm not sure I can take that. Um, wow. Um, oh, Jay Kaz, uh, you want to see the Bakelite Praying Manus? Oh, um, Bakelite Praying Manus. Uh, that's Jimmy from work. That's my Bebop. Um, Bebop, I don't have a Bakelite Praying Manus. I have uh, the Boucher Praying Manus, and I have the Praying Manuses on this lovely vase right here, because I uh, Praying Manus was my spirit animal for a while. Um, oh, Carmen, thank, thank you so much. Um, yeah, uh, well, Sarah's Journals, again, I, you know, I, I don't like to beat the same drum because it's, it's a, a bit much sometimes, but Sarah's Journals... My, 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 you know, uh, just makes me incredibly, incredibly happy. I watched her recent video and her skill and her craft um, and her loveliness. I don't know. There's just something there that uh, I'm completely in love with. And I suggest you all subscribe in a hurry. Um, Kathy Wiseman, question, how long does it Oh, um, good question, Kathy. How long does it take to put things back where they belong after your lives? Well, let me tell you something, Kathy. So for this live, it took me, <laughs> it took me all of two days to kind of, you know, pull the stuff out. And, and there's a table right there that's like over full with other things to discuss um, that we'll have to wait. Except for there's a crystal glazed vase that I'm going to make Jeremy bring over to me. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to ask politely. And then I'm going to make him. <laughs> I don't know what my problem is. Um, but um, 
he's going to bring over this crystal and go to his base. It takes a long time for me to put stuff back where it belongs. And when I do my presentations for the libraries, um, uh, Kathy, it takes a very long time for me to put things back. And plus, having things in safety deposit and safes, it makes it very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. But I have to do this, you know? I have to. And now that I'm seeing some of the things... Thank you, Deborah. Now that I'm seeing some of the things um, that I haven't seen for a while that I know that I can part with, um, I wanted to like bring them on and document them in front of all of you so that um, I have like, you know, that I can like rewatch these things, you know, in, in the future if I ever feel like I shouldn't have sold something, <laughs> you know. So, uh, but a lot of these are permanent collection that will move with me. So um, that's a great question. It takes a long time. Um, let's see here. Hey, you need a baseball one. I have a son that plays... Oh, you have a son that plays baseball. That's awesome. Sarah is amazing. That's totally true. Everyone here is amazing. I, I want to make sure we're clear on that uh, because everyone here is amazing. Uh, they stay stacked up to the side. Thank you, Jeremy. I will try again, but couldn't find you. It's okay. We'll, we'll get you there, Antoinette. Don't you worry, honey. We'll get you there. Um, Robin Harriman. Robin, thanks for always being with me. And tell Flesh Hoarder that I said hello because I, I love your husband too. Um... Bless Bobbles. Oh, I love Sherry. I love you all. Obviously, I'm so glad you have cats. I have four in the house. One lives outside. Yeah, Antoinette, um, Jeremy has four cats. And whenever people say to me, like, how many cats does he have? I say five too many. <laughs> because it's like they're omnipresent, especially Morris. He's the orange one. And for some reason, um, for some reason, orange cats just have this innate ability to be in your face 24 hours a day. <laughs> Ask Tanya. She'll tell you about it. Um, and I love the cats, by the way. I love them very much. They're awesome. Uh, Dina Marie, um, the stars on my chest. So yeah, those are just Mexican silver. Um, I don't know the maker on them um, because I, I, I didn't pay attention to it. But they're just... Uh, here, let's, oh, Jeremy, yeah, we're going to go to dinner. So I, I don't want to look like a Christmas tree when I go to dinner. <laughs> but look, they're just um, stars that have like other stars that go off of them. And they're Mexican. But um, I don't remember. Yeah, they're Mexican, but they're like post... 1970s Mexican, so I didn't go crazy to like figure that out. Look how I was frowning. Look at my face. Look at the wait. You know what? I want someone to do get a screenshot of this. Look, <laughs> get a screenshot of that, and then we'll put it on T-shirts. No, I don't know. I don't know what my problem is. I'm losing it. Is that, that's what I know what the problem is? Yeah, ginger cats have have lots of personality. Absolutely. Yeah, love the stars, Carmen Ellis. I know it's funny. It is funny, but someone's going to do it. I can guarantee you there's going to be another YouTuber who's going to turn into, you know, tune into one of my lives, take a screenshot and put it on a, 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 um, a shirt and make a whole bunch of money off me. <laughs> um, orange cats are the best cats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dina. This cat, though, just amazing. Oh, Jean, I love you, too. And I don't know how I make you feel special, but, you know, the weird thing is, and it's not weird, it's beautiful. You, you got, I hope I do for you what you do for me, you know, I, I hope, I don't know how else to say it. I, whenever I get the comments and I read them, I feel it. And I hope that you all feel that in return. I, I hope you do. Cause if you don't, I'm not doing my job. Um, and it's not a job, it's an honor, you know? So I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna cry. You're squinting cause you need glasses. No, I'm squinting cause the ring light, like Tanya says, I look high all the time. Ta you know, I, I can't, I can't stand her. <laughs> But my eyes are so little anyway. I have really little eyes, you know. I'm kind of, I look like a bull terrier. <laughs> and um, but um, it's the ring light, you know. It's so bright that like nor I have normal. Jeremy, do I have normal size eyes? Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> okay. Um, bless bobbles. That is hilarious. Um, <laughs> tetanus shots hurt. Oh, tetanus. Yeah, tetanus shots. I don't, I don't think I've ever had a tetanus shot. Jana Overstreet. Jana, I don't, again, thank you for saying I'm a sweet soul. Thank you. Um, you're a pleasure. Yeah. You guys are. I, <laughs> you called it frowning. <laughs> it is frowning. <laughs> um, can you put to Adam's eBay store? Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, I can, you know, I'll type it in as Jeremy. Here, let's do this. I'm going to try something. Look how industrious I am. You know, I'm not really good at all this yet. You know, I'm, I'm just not. Um, that's my user ID on eBay. So, yeah, I am a squinter. Yeah, I, you know what? I, but then again, I haven't, I didn't really started. Oh, uh, thank you, Dina. 
You have smart eyes, Jason. You're always thinking, Carmen, it's true. <laughs> Tori, you know, she said my eyes are normal. You just always squint when you're smiling. <laughs> I can't see now. Oh, HC, thank you for coming. Um, I'd like to say something to you publicly, but um, I, I just won't. I I'll just um, say thank you so much for coming. I'm so glad that you're here. Penny Howard, I, I yeah, I feel your love too. I do. Uh, okay, and Rhonda, um, on my eBay store, I just always tell people, um, don't like, you know, I always tell people in the chats, like, I haven't supplied an email address yet, so, like, please don't go to my eBay and, like, you know, try and, like, contact me about, like, appraising something, but by all means, please go and shop to your heart's content, and I do accept offers because my eBay is not a museum, you know, I told Jeremy, we're in the business to sell, you know, that's the way we make our money, you know, um, Oh, uh, Jana Overstreet, um, my eBay store. So if you go to eBay's main page, the easiest way to find it, you have to look, like you have to go and look by seller. So in your search, there's like an advanced search on eBay. So rather than go to like the basic eBay search box, don't type it in there, you'll never find it. But there's an advanced search bar somewhere there, or you can go to the help page and shop by seller, okay? So then once you click into that, you'll see by seller, you click that. And then you type in the user ID in that little box and then you click submit and it will take you right to our eBay pages. I um, mean, it's weird because um, uh, it's weird because uh, when I first gave it, I, I gave it on Tanya's channel um, reluctantly. And I'm so glad she you know, encouraged me to do so. Uh, Tanya's the best at that. You know, she has encouraged me on uh, several different things to take several different paths. And I'm so glad she has. Uh, she's amazing, as you all know. Um, and uh, yeah, sh uh, so. Uh, yeah, Tanya, thank you. So just go to the advanced search, type in, you know, type in our sellers and, and do it that way. So we are an hour and 11 minutes in. I promise to keep it at an hour. So I think I'm, I think I'm pretty much done for the night. Um, I shared almost everything. Jeremy, could you grab this one last? Um, I'm going to show you this last crystal and glazed vase because it's so big. I want to like be able to pack it and put it away. And I'm um, just be really careful because it's so close to that other crystal bowl. It's the, yeah, yeah, perfect. Okay, here comes the hand of God again. Here, here it comes, the big catcher's mitts of hands. <laughs> okay, so look at this, um, crystal and glaze, and why I loved this one so much, the size, the color, and when you get crystals to grow this large, and you get crystals to cover a vessel 360 degrees, come on, you know, look at this thing. So, absolutely fantastic. Oh, Bruce made it. Did Bruce make it? Yeah, Bruce. Hey, Bruce. Thanks for coming, buddy. I appreciate it. Um, so 138 people in. What a heck of a good night. I'm so glad. I thank you all so much for joining. Um, but that's the Crystal and Glaze vase. Um, it is from China. Um, and uh, that one is so special. And it's definitely going to move with me. So um, I really appreciate being able to show you that. I'll just put it here. It's fine. And um, that's it. So um, I think that does it. Um, oh, yeah. And uh, Mia, thank you for the pointer. See, I, I don't know all these things about like, well, I, I shouldn't say I don't know. But, oh, Colleen made it. Colleen, thank you so much. Um, I don't know um, like about self-promotion. <laughs> I, I, I just don't. I'm really bad at it. Um, but I'm going to learn. So I'm, I'm going to learn and I will take all of your suggestions. Um, Designs Laura is still here. Carly Q, Carmen, Penny, um, Mary Jones, Pamela, Timeless, Jules by Deborah, Monica HC, Rhonda, Thrill the Thrift, D. Absolutely, I know, D. I, I fell in love with it because uh, I'm a sucker for uh, color and form and craft. I um, mean, I've always, I've, I've built my collection on um, um, what I loved, not what was currently in vogue or what was, um, you know, currently in fashion, you know, per se. Um, so I always built my collection on uh, craft and design. Um, and that's just, oh, Bruce, it's no problem. You're not late. You can watch the replay. <laughs> you and Dennis, tell Dennis I said hello and I send my love. And Bruce, um, we're still all praying for a full recovery for you, Bruce. I already told you I know that you're going to get there and you will. I promise, my friend. Uh, Mary Jones, I love you. And Jeremy loves you too. And I'll probably get some glasses, Mary Jones. I probably will. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I don't want to lie to anyone. <laughs> Um, Carmen, I have not been to the Tucson Gem and Mineral, um, but a lot of my vendors and dealers that I deal with um, set up there. So I shop them in other places. So I've never felt like I had to go to Tucson. But now that um, I don't have a responsibility at home, and once I get settled in a new house, I have a feeling that I will be traveling to Tucson next year for their big show. So yes. Um, Jamie B, I love you very much. Deborah, I love you. Susan, I absolutely love you. HC, I love you. Uh, Robin, I love you. HC, I love you. 
Um, D, I know we're two peas in a pod. Um, Carmen Ellis, Carla, Mary Jones. Good night, Antoinette. Good night, Becky. Good night, Anne. Good night, Tori. I, I love you, my sweet sister. Sarah, you're amazing. I love you very much. Um, Tamara, HC, Bless Bobbles, Janice, Derry Kelly, Becky, Carmen Ellis, Bruden, Joan, Aqua Lover. I love each and every one of you. Never forget it. Um, and sorry, I didn't seem 100% rested because um, I wasn't. <laughs> So, um, but I appreciate y'all for coming. Thank you so much. Tanya, thank you for dropping all the links. Um, thank you for going to all the channels and thank you for subscribing to the people that I love on here. Um, at least a few of the people that I love on here. Um, so thank you all so much. I really appreciate you. I truly do. Um, we had a fantastic evening. Thank you again so much. It's time to go to dinner. I love you all so much. Mwah. Good night. Bye-bye. Love you.